hear their YouTube. Right, so I've reviewed and played countless rally games in my time. I've never done it for real. So today I'm going to find out if the real rallying experience is anything like the games. So let's do it. The Phil Price Rally Driving School is set high up in the Welsh countryside and comprises a short track for learning how to drift and a longer, absolutely beautiful road loop up and down the hills around the centre. When I arrived, there was still snow on the ground from the day before and thick fog, which sadly meant it was too dangerous for the participants like me to have a go at the longer track, but as you'll see shortly, it was still available to experience. But first, after a briefing from Phil Price himself, it was time to get behind the wheel. Obviously, as you can see from my face, I was very excited, having never driven a real rally car before. But once we were underway, the only instructions seemed to be to go slower and be more gentle with the throttle and steering, which, I must admit, was frustrating, as I just wanted to have a go and see how the skills I've developed from two and a half decades of playing rally games transfer into real life. I found that the real car was very ready to step out into a slide if you gave the throttle a prod, but I did find it difficult on his first run to keep the back end out. The gently approach to the throttle didn't seem to be enough to keep the car drifting, so I was a little disappointed in my performance as I headed back in for my first run, but at least there would be plenty more as the day went on. So what were my immediate thoughts? All right, so just got back in from first time driving a car and uh, the, the gentleman was telling me to gently squeeze it, gently squeeze it. Um, and it's very difficult to gently squeeze it because you you want to put your foot down a bit to get the back step out. It's just basically, it's not how I've been playing it at all. And I did get a bit out of shape. Uh, I thought we were going to go around at one point, but I held it. But he said I was a bit erratic on the steering wheel. I thought I did all right. After having driven a couple of times, it was time to play a still in development build of Codemasters Dirt Rally 2.0, which was running on PlayStation 4 consoles. I recorded this footage that you're watching now on a version attached to a DualShock controller, but I also played it on a force feedback wheel, and that was the much more realistic experience, without question. Interestingly, I found myself crashing in the game quite frequently, and it was only when I got to grips with the handbrake button, something that we weren't allowed to use in the real cars, that I was able to really tame the car. I tried using the techniques that I'd learned in the rally school, such as accelerating to get the back to step out when you're understeering off the road, varying the throttle input during drifts to keep the car from spinning or regaining too much traction, and using the pendulum effect to keep the rear of the car sliding between corners so as to keep the movement flowing. I'd only driven the real rally car at low speed, and the simulation of those physics does seem to be very accurate in the game. But what about high speed? Well, as luck would have it, it was then time to be taken out around the long loop at rallying speeds, and that was very, very different to pootling about at some 20 miles per hour on the test course. The acceleration is immense, and then what follows is an all-out assault on your senses. It's very fast, very loud, and very bumpy. I decided to film the first run on my phone, and honestly, it was all I could do to hold onto my phone as I was shaken around in the car. It also smelled amazing, as I very eloquently stated to the driver. It's so awesome, it smells amazing too. Great though the game is, it just can't replicate around half of the sensory experience of the real thing, which admittedly is nothing new and obviously can't be held against it. So what about the parts it can replicate? The fact is that real rallying feels violent. You can hear rocks banging against the underside of the car and jumps are really big moments. And the speeds really do feel dangerous. Dirt Rally 2.0 replicates some sense of that speed, which is great, and of hurtling along narrow lanes, and the sound at least does a decent job of simulating the sensation of the track surface hitting the underside of the car. But the game is clearly much smoother in motion compared not only to my handheld camera and my own head, but also on the mounted GoPro that was recording footage out the front. The reality of actually being in a real rally car is far less serene. 
That said, I do feel that a video game should have a consistent rule set in order to feel fair, so making the gameplay too tumultuous and unpredictable would probably be amazing for a minute or so, but then not really practical for long term gameplay. People need to be able to play it, and for that I don't think you can have it shaking around like the real thing. One thing that the game does do is add in little touches that can make you take your eye off the road. For instance, I saw a broken down car on one of my goes with the smoke coming out of it, but those little touches just can't compete with real life experiences like hurtling along behind a buzzard for a brief moment. I mean, the buzzard was obviously scared by us and was flying away as we were approaching, and then immediately after that we went over a small jump. <laughs> And I must say, those few seconds will stay with me for the rest of my life. I think the thing that really hit me most about the day, though, was just how passionate everyone at the driving school is about rally driving. They absolutely love rallying. They live for it, their eyes light up when they talk about it, and to see them behind the wheel, they're in their element. But I also get that impression from Dirt Rally 2.0 in that the game is clearly made by people who also absolutely love rallying, and it really comes across. There's no question that of all the different rally sims out there at the moment on consoles, Dirt Rally in its original incarnation and now Dirt Rally 2.0 are clearly the most realistic. They're definitely the closest that I've seen to the experience that I had in real life, so that's obviously a big win. The game itself, Dirt Rally 2.0, is shaping up very nicely and I've got a full preview just about the game, which you can see here if you click on that then you'll be able to watch the preview of the game itself. So thanks very much for watching, I've got more video game content on my channel including sim racing but there's also more, lots of Sonic stuff as well, and there's also music and other types of videos. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.